Stone Sheet and register your Stone Sheet product, you go to product management and you click on the serial number of the product that you have. You will have uh, the details on the right side of what you need to, uh, to download. You can simply go and download the activation kit. Since we are using version 4, so you will download the activation kit for version 4 and you can just simply uh, download this file. So you will get a MAJ file and this file you have to uh, save it and uh, this will be used to activate the license. Now once you want to download the uh, machine itself, so you go to download section to download the uh, virtual machine. You choose network security and then you can uh, from Stormfield Network Security you have to go to choose the version that you want so let me just choose version uh, firmware so I'm going here and the image I want to download is the EVA1 so you have the VHD, the OVA, the OpenStack, the KVM so whatever the uh, extension you, you have is it a Hyper-V machine or is it a VMware or whatever so I use an OVA so you can just simply download this file and after the download finish so you have the virtual machine and you have downloaded also the activation kit loading the machine and the activation kit so you can just simply uh, from virtual uh, from vmware for example in my case i'm using the fusion because i'm using it on apple it will be the same on workstation uh, or even on esxi so so you can just simply go and import i will choose the file to import okay the one that i have just downloaded it is the you'll find it here with the ova and continue accept the agreement by default it will come with two interfaces and you can continue and choose where to save it then you are done with the import so now the machine has been important and it is running the first time it is being run uh, it will ask you several questions and you need to set up the machine so you can connect to the machine and uh, set up the password and the IP and everything. So basically it comes with two interfaces. It is elastic, which means that you can uh, increase the RAM, you can uh, add more interfaces and it is very flexible to, to manage it. So I will wait until uh, it boots for the first time. And after the boot is done, it will the wizard will start to ask you several questions of course because it's the first time it is being run so it takes some time to generate the new keys and uh, and everything for the very unique identity of this machine that you have and then it is done so the first one as i said it will ask you uh, several questions uh, just wait until it start okay so the first thing uh, in our region for example the keyboard layout is us keyboard layout it depends on your layout you can choose uh, you have to set the password for the first time verify the password oh sorry so and then after that it will ask me what would i want to do with the interfaces so it, i have two interfaces one is named as the out we consider the, the default configuration it is an external of course it can be modified later so i will choose uh, to keep it as the dhcp I, I will let it obtain an ip address automatically so i don't want to change and the second one uh, i will also in my case i will also choose it to uh, work on uh, dhcp because i will connect it to host only where it will obtain an ip address automatically so following to that it will ask me since i'm connect uh, do, do i want to allow managing the firewall from external interface because maybe I, I want to connect to the machine from the first one which is named out so you can choose yes so just until you have the configuration done after that you can restrict the access to the machine so after that the machine is up and running and it has two interfaces so it has uh, the out with this ip it obtained through the scp and in it obtained it through the scp now inside the virtual machine normally uh, from vmware you can choose what you want to uh, uh, assign which interface to uh, virtual interface adapters that you have so you can choose it as a nat bridge to in this case to my wire uh, wireless uh, and adapter number two i can choose it to be on host only uh, for example so i want the uh, the first one which is the out is bridged the second one I set it to host only so it will be only accessible through my uh, local machine 
uh, it is actually the same also on, on the Windows machine. So after this, I have the interfaces already and set up and I can access the firewall right now. Uh, after uh, I can check uh, again, just to double check the interface, uh, the uh, out interface is taking this IP, the in on the host only took this IP through the SCP. So I can use any of them to access the firewall. Let me choose the external one. Uh, so I will go on HTTPS 192.168. 0.176 forward slash admin. This is how we connect to it for the first time. I need to accept that the certificate is not trusted, and then I need to log in with the password that I have set. So, this is my first connection to the machine. I have the two interfaces one is marked as external, one is marked as internal. Now, uh, the next step to activate this firewall, I need to go to configuration. And in the configuration, I need to go to system, maintenance, and I need to update the firmware. Virtual machine is a bit sp uh, special. Normally the physical uh, hardware, you can just simply import the license and that's it. But the virtual machine, it requires to be activated for the first time. So you need to uh, use the activation kit that we have downloaded originally from my storm sheet. So I will go just to uh, download this file I just downloaded and update the firmware so it will just reboot after reboot the machine is connected and up and running you can use it